Hello, and welcome back to the Highlands Art League YouTube channel. Today, we have an interview with the artist Cesar Garcia. For more information about this artist, please check the description of this video. Stay to the end of the video, and we will have a walkthrough of Mr. Garcia's work. Thank you again for watching, and we hope you enjoy. Uh, so, to start off, how long have you been painting? I've been painting since I was born, basically. Oh. I was born, in, uh, fortunately, I was born in a house with, with an artist, which was my uncle, back in Cuba. And then uh, I left in 1969, but I brought all of his uh, teachings with me. And uh, I thought that everybody had an uncle that painted, but I found out real quick that it wasn't so. But uh, I found my way anyway, because that's what I wanted to do. That's amazing. Um, now, I know with a lot of your pieces, they kind of have like those uh, chess pieces and a certain color palette. Is there a meaning behind those? Uh, not in the color. In the color, it changes. I'm very monochromatic. And I basically stay with the same color for a while and then switch over. Uh, the pieces, that's my language. Uh, chess pieces basically represent more or less like the human humanity in the piece because they all have a, a, a mission or a function and that we do. So that's why the chess piece is. And it's always in a mystical way that I create my work and I'm always thinking about uh, universal questions and issues, uh, humanity issues. So in, in, you know, I put planets and usually space, ships and all sorts of things. I, I did notice like there were a few other things like planets and portals and stuff like that in your work. It really makes like a really dynamic and really interesting compositions. Yeah, my work basically is a reflection between the past, the old, the unknown, and the, and the future. And, and those travel corridors are come up a lot. And um, for your art, like what kind of medium do you use to paint? Uh, water-based. Anything that's water-based because of the way I, I work it. I work it basically um, uh, very abstract to begin with and then I start incorporating my images. And um, one last question is what like would you suggest for beginning artists to try? Uh, for beginners basically I think as a child we are all beginners. So basically, if you're a child, if you're young, and you still have it in you, don't give it up. Don't give it up because we all have it. As a child, like I said, we're all artists. That's what we do in the kids. It's beautiful. Um, and if someone did want to kind of contact you uh, or see more of your work, where would they be able to see that? Uh, I have a website, uh, which is CesarGarcia.net. And you can find my email there. You can just shoot me an email and uh, we'll get in contact. 